Welcome in. Thanks for stopping by again on such short notice. Um, you know, we're back for another self-indulgent showing of vinyl records, something we like to call a douche -isode. Today we're going to talk about some vinyl records that have recently been sitting and spinning, sitting and spinning as of late. Um, I've got a couple of recently released albums. I have some VCLT from Canada and a reissue of an LP that originally came out in 1985. As usual, we do have an abundance of meat stick available for you. You're all welcome to, um, you know, nibble, nibble at your own leisure. Let's go ahead and get this show on the road. You know, you don't wanna, you don't wanna spend all day here. This is the Second LP from the, um, the Umbrellas. The album is called Fairweather Friend on Slumberland Records. I think their debut came out a couple of years back now. San Francisco Bay Area group. This, this LP just came out in January, highly anticipated um, by me at least. And I have to say it does deliver. Just, you know, jangly, Indie pop, taking influences from from like C eighty six artists and and Paisley underground artists. It's a little bit surfy, a bit twee for sure. Um, definitely put their own spins on on their you know combination of influences that that they that they've come together with here. Anyway, this album to me it avoids like the, the you know avoids the sophomore slump has a bigger sound, possibly, you know, a bit more polished, a bit less lo-fi, slightly more produced, I guess would be another way, another way to put it. Still has the jangling guitars, infectious, catchy pop songs, but you know, it occasionally revs it up a bit. In the kind of modern, jangly, indie, sweet pop world, I would say this is highly recommended. Here's the the uh, printer, or, or no, just the insert that has, has words on it. You're gonna need, um, you need a telescope to read these tiny little words though. And then I think the version I have, I'm kind of, kind of a little weirded, or getting a little weird about these versions. Sometimes they charge more for a special version that I find that is maybe getting a little out of hand. <laughs> I don't know, I don't remember if that's the case on this one, but there's another, there's some other release that's coming out soon where I, pa I had to pass on the like kind of exclusive version. I think it was gonna come from out of the country, whereas the different version was coming. Anyway, I think this is the only available mail order version and maybe direct from the band on this blue colored fancy pants, slightly fancy pants, blue colored vinyl. Anyway, yeah, the, the umbrellas, Fair weather friend. Crooked liars and lazy minds. It's pastiche behind the times. Molding us like plasticine. Wash rags soaked in gasoline. The hippocrates of hooray. The bleach dry. All right, next this is another another band or another group from California. This one from Bakersfield, kind of a, I guess you'd say a duo from Bakersfield because it's two people <laughs> called um, Fon, or called Fonds of Love. That's that's the group, and the album is called Fear the Softest Gaze. This is on Kingfisher Blues Records. I believe this was originally released digitally in October, but the Physical release, I believe, just came out in January. So this is, you know, dream pop slash post-punk, heavily, I'd say heavily, very heavily influenced by Cocteau Twins and early Cure. 
um, very ethereal and dark with lots of like atmospheric synthesizer. If you look at the instruments, it's tons of different like Moog synthesizers on here. Yeah, the second track called Ambrose Pierce features Calvin Johnson from Beat Happening, Halo Benders, Dub Narcotic, et cetera, K Records. Um, and then also there is a second, uh, an alternate version of the title track, Fear the Softest Gaze, uh, that, that is a Robin Guthrie version, Robin Guthrie from Cocteau Twins. This is the Fancy Pants vinyl on, on this one. Anyway, probably something that there's certain people are gonna really eat this up that are maybe more into, definitely people that are into the Cocteau Twins, but also a lot of, a lot of 80s and a lot of synth pop elements, atmospheric synth pop, I think is, is what I would say. Anyway, Fonz of Love is the group and the album is Fear the Softest Gaze. Someone recently commented on a very old video of, of mine asking like what song was playing in the background. And so I obviously can't remember. So I had to go back and like go through the video to try and you know hear what it was myself so I could, so I could respond and let them know. Um, that was a really, it was a really tough, it's tough for me to watch. I mean, if you think this is tough to watch, try watching one of the old ones. Next up I received, um, some VCLT, at least that's what I'm gonna call it. Um, T for truck, because I don't think this, this came on a train. I think it probably came on a truck. Um, this is coming from, from Jay, our friend Jay, up in, up in Ontario, Canada. You should follow him if you're not already following him on Instagram. I'll put, I'll put someplace uh, so, you can, so you can follow him. Um, he told me that this was his favorite release of 2023, so he wanted to send it to me. Thank you for taking the time to do that. Um, completely uh, unnecessary, but, but um, appreciated. This is artist by goes by the name Sunsetter, with two N's, Sunsetter. I'm gonna leave it in the shrink because it has this like OB thing on it. Hopefully you can see it. Uh, it's the project by a guy named Andrew McLeod. Goes by the, the name Sunsetter. The album is called The Best That I Can Be. This came out, I believe in March of, of last year of 2023. So I'm gonna call this kind of like beautiful atmospheric post rock with like folk and dream pop elements as well. Um, there are spots that are that are somewhat like reminiscent of an artist like like Sigur Rós, uh, perhaps like most clearly on the song "At the End of the Day," second song on side B. But other spots have more of a um, kind of a haunting folk or folk rock feeling over kind of a bed of like textured ambient synthesizer. Um, kind of that dream, dreamy, ethereal sound again. Yeah, well well worth seeking out. Thank you again to Jay for, for making the effort to send this to me internationally. Um, I look forward to spending more time with it. I'll show you the print in our sleeve here. That's some, some words there on the back. And this is on, um, Kind of a clear, they're transparent, <laughs> transparent lavender vinyl. Yeah, 
Sunsetter, the best that I can be. This is on Paper Bag Records. At some point in the middle of last year, I had, I had an order placed that was just shy of receiving free shipping. Um, I think that the shipping was $7 and maybe I was a, just like a dollar or two under it. So I went through the, um, the clearance <laughs> section to, to, to try and get, get, just, just get over that hump. And so I, did, I got this, uh, this 45 uh, by, by twerps, which is, I totally didn't need, but it, it basically was cheaper to get the order with this than it would have been just to order what I was going to anyway. But anyway, on, on Merge Records, twerps, back to you, backed with, always waiting. Um, if you don't know twerps from, from Melbourne, kind of lo-fi, jangly, noise pop, a lot of flying nun, influences this uh the song back to you was from their second lp range anxiety which is from 2015 this was released i think in the tail end of 2014 so it's definitely not something that i needed although i will say the the b-side always waiting is a good one so it is good from that aspect but i probably wouldn't have necessarily paid the money for it but for negative several dollars it's worth it Next, this is a reissue of an album that came out originally in 1985 on Factory Records. It's a Glasgow group called The Wake and their album Here Comes Everybody. Yeah, this was just reissued. This is a, a repress of the 35th anniversary reissue of this that was done for Record Store Day, I think in 2020. If you don't know The Wake, this is kind of atmospheric, dreamy synth pop with like a strong, strongly influenced by late Joy Division, early New Order. Um, they did tour with New Order, I think before this. Um, it also has kind of a birdsy, jangly guitar sound that I think is somewhat influential to, to some bands that came after. Yeah, so again, really, really synthy, mid 80s music. Probably most people that would like this are already probably familiar with this, but if you're not, it's definitely worth checking out. I think a really, really strong album if you can get down with this kind of music. Um, this version has a, comes with a 45. I'll show you the inner sleeve here. Print inner sleeve with some, um, a lot of words and pictures, lyrics. This is on on some delicious black vinyl. The 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 this is the exact same thing as the one that came out in 2020. Only the 2020 version had was on some uh, some fancy pants, some fancy pants vinyl. Here's the the 45 that comes with it. Which is also on. It's also on some some rather fetching, delicious black vinyl. Anyway, yeah, The Wake, Here Comes Everybody. This was by Factory Benelux Records, I believe.
curious or confused, get information or a pamphlet at most pharmacies or a health clinic. If you need help, see a doctor.